Hey guys, Svon82 back at you with a brand new video. And on today's video, I wanted to talk about Chaos Comics, a comic book imprint from the 90s. They are definitely a staple in the comic book world, and the characters are definitely a staple in the comic book world. They deserve to be celebrated, and I wanted to do that on today's video. Plus, I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a timeline on their history in case you don't know much about Chaos. Maybe you'll walk away from this video knowing a little bit. But if you could, please like and subscribe. I plan on doing more comic book related videos weekly, and I would greatly appreciate having you on board for the ride. But yeah, um, Chaos, they started in the 90s. Uh, creator Brian Polito, he drew some sketches of Evil Ernie, and Eternity Comics liked it and offered Brian a chance to publish his creation while being able to maintain oversight of his character. He published a number of issues with Eternity from 91 to 94. Brian eventually reached out to artist friend Stephen Hughes, and together the two had a vision for Evil Arnie, and in 94, Chaos Comics was born. They had success and expanded the company with the character Lady Death. Um, you know, she became a signature bad girl in comics. Fans love her. They still do to this day. It's, you know, you can't go into a comic book shop and not see that iconic character. In 95, they released a metal album called Doomsday, and it ended up helping them develop opportunities for other licensed properties. Um, they worked with acts like Static X, um, Megadeth, Insane Clown Posse. Um, they got a contract with WWE to do comic books for them, um, for the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, China, Mankind, and, and others. And they developed new characters like Purgatory, Chastity, um, Cremator. They made Smiley the Psychotic Button um, appear in some spinoff comics of his own. Um, they were doing really well. Chaos was known for having tons of really cool variants, glow-in-the-dark variants, leather variants. Um, just, they were one of the first ones that were really doing all these different variants in the 90s. Um, in 97, they were hit with a lawsuit. Um, it was, let's see, it was over copyright infringement from another horror writer. Um, claiming that Chastity was based on one of their characters. And um, basically, Chaos countersued for defamation and interference with their business. Um, both parties ended up agreeing to dismiss the lawsuits, and Chaos walked away vindicated. Um, moving past that, Chaos continued intertwining characters and building up their universe. They had everything built up to create this core storyline for Armageddon, um, their 2000 release that was coming up. Um, Armageddon took place in the last three months of 99 and was set to end on New Year's Day of 2000. It had all the major characters and they were trying to stop the world from ending basically. And um, sadly in the real world though, it was the beginning of the end for um, the original Chaos imprint. On February 18th of 2000, the co-founders and artist Stephen Hughes uh, he lost his battle with cancer, sadly. Um, still to this day, he is missed. Um, still to this day, he is loved by, you know, his fans and just just some beautiful artwork. I mean, you, you just really got to have love for it, even if you don't collect it. Um, but yeah, even when I wasn't collecting it, just, just such talent. Um, in 2002, they filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy um, after de declining sales. And um, that year, Brian Paletto took their flagship character, Lady Death, and um, took her to CrossGen Comics and began putting out a medieval tale. Um, CrossGen ended up folding a couple months later. They went under. And from there, Brian took the character to Avatar Press. Um, 
he ended up giving Lady Beth her own imprint uh, by the name of Boundless Comics. And in 2014, he eventually moved her to his imprint, Coffin Comics, and that's where she is to this day. Um, and he's still putting out really, really cool comic books with the Lady Death character. The rest of the Chaos characters, though, they were bought at an auction by a comic retailer by the name of Tales, Tales of Wonder. And Tales of Wonder turned around and sold some of the characters to Devil's Due Publishing. Um, for a brief period, Devil's Due was using the Chaos Comics imprint. Um, but in 2012, Dynamite acquired Evil Irony and turned around in 2014 and acquired the rest of Chaos Comics, with the exception of Lady Death being a coffin. Um, and, you know, the, though the original Chaos Comics is no longer with us, they still, the characters live on to this day in Dynamite and in Coffin. And, you know, I, I wanted to celebrate Chaos today and show you guys some of the cool books that I have. These are just some of the ones that I pulled out of the boxes that I wanted to share. Um... Of course, you saw the, the beautiful Lady Death um, foil cover. This is Evil Ernie Destroyer preview number one. This is Evil Ernie Zero. I don't know what series this is, but some original chaos goodness. Here is Evil Ernie Revenge. This is 94. This is the beginning of chaos. Um, this is a glow in the dark cover too. It's a really cool one. That one's one of my favorite ones. This is Evil Ernie until the end. Issue one. Here is Evil Ernie Revenge. Issue four. You can see it's got Lady Death in the background. Evil Ernie Youth Gone Wild Encore Presentation. Issue two. Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild, Issue 1. This is a cool one. This is Evil Ernie, Straight to Hell, Issue 1. And I'm going to pull this out and show you guys. Let me try to do this real quick. It needs to be shown we're celebrating chaos today. And they were known for having these cool variant covers. They were kind of ahead of their time when it came to that. Let's see this straight to hell. It folds open. Let's see the casket. Folds open. That's really cool. Try to be careful with that. And then you can see um Right here, there's Smiley with Psychotic Button. Wacky, wacky Wrestling Special. That was released in 99. Here's some of the music, music ones they did. This is Insane Clown Posse. Um, Halls of Illusion, Issue 1. Here is The Ups and Downs of the Wicked Clowns. And if I'm not mistaken... I think that's the first appearance of Insane Clown Posse in comics. Here's a character I love. Um, definitely a favorite of mine from Chaos. It's Purgatory. And one of those books I just showed you had her first appearance in it. Here's Purgatory Goddess Rising. Here's a classic Lady Death, Wicked Ways, number one. Evil Ernie, Youth Gone Wild, Issue 4. This is cover with Lady Death on it. Here is Evil Ernie with Purgatory on the cover. This is Issue 3. Let's see, he's hashing it out with uh, Purgatory. Here is an Evil Ernie War of the Dead 3 Chaos Memorial Edition. 
And this has a bunch of the characters from the world that they built up. And then these right here are just some newer ones that I pulled out. Um, this is the Chaos Dynamite imprint. And, um, you know, much love to Dynamite for keeping the characters alive. And Brian Polito for still doing his thing with Lady Death over at Coffin Comics. But that's um, that's um, the new Evil Arnie, the new run. That's issue one. And here's issue two. You might recognize that cover. That's Nirvana Nevermind um, homage cover. Here's another homage cover for issue two. It's a TMNT homage cover of Evil Arnie, and it's got the it's got smiley. And here's another one I thought I'd show you guys. It's Purgatory Issue 3 under the Chaos Dynamite imprint. And that is um, a McFarlane homage. And yeah, that's basically all I got for you guys today. Um, just wanted to do a video showing Chaos some love. I appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope maybe you were able to take something from this video. Hope I didn't bore you guys to death. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.